Hello, my name is Sergey, and I would like to uh, to make a brief description about the new HadX plugin. Um, I'm sorry about the sound quality; it's a bit noisy, but um, I really would like to make a description about to make to make a preview of this new version. Um, so, what is interesting in this new version is the 2D slider. Uh, this is the element, this is a hard rectangle element like this one uh, which I can move in the limit of another rectangle element like background so what it gives for me if for example I select some connected um, reference uh, translation property uh, which I have put it to to the slider rectangle element and if I have a look to these X and Y values here in the left down co bottom corner I have 0, 0 and the, on the right upper corner I have 100, 100 all other values are just the interpolation in between so I can use it in relation constraint for some facial setup for some another rig setup for characters and so on and so forth so I think it's very convenient for making some rigs because it's interactivity and one more thing that I can double click with the middle mouse button and put a key on the translation like this for example if I move to another frame uh, move here double click and I have a key so I think it's it should be convenient for you also I hope it, it, it will be useful in the previous release you was having the interactivity for all the HADX element where you connect the property double property boolean property and also the script which you can execute but in this release I make some changes with this stuff because now you have to put active property it's a user property uh, when you if you put checkbox here you have the interactivity if not there is no interactivity at all for example um, here is my changing of null size it's actually interactivity property as you can see I can really change the uh, size of the null object but if I switch off the active property okay, there is no there is no any interactivity at all so we just the simple uh, hard element as you have in Motion Builder 2013. Okay, and the last thing is the script. Script that can help you to set up to the slider very easily and fast. This script you can download from our website on l3d.com. Okay, so let's make a new scene and I will show you how how to how to use the script okay let's execute this one uh, for work with the hard element we need for 2d slider we need two rectangle hard elements so let's put some and attach to the camera the first one will be hard this will be the slider and the type will be rectangle Okay, one more time, rectangle, fine. So let's put it somewhere that we can see it. And rename, it will be the slider element. The next one, also rectangle, let's rename it to slider back it will be the background element we can change the color to have a difference between the background and the slider and also it should be bigger because it's uh, area it's a limit area for the slider element okay let me run script one more time because it's updating only when you run the script so my slider is the slider element and the background is the slider back element I just uh, press the build button and to to make some movement to, to have the ability to interactive movement you need to put any vector 
reference property to the slider element. For example, I have a null object and I drag the translation into the HUD slider and create property reference. Okay, so now, as you can see, I have 2D slider and uh, it works well. Okay, so the next important thing in this version that if you change the orientation, uh, if you change the position of the background, you need manually update uh, the slider limits like minimum max, maximum max, and so on and so forth. And also, you can use the uh, HideX script just to put these two slider and background elements and uh, press the build update button. So now I have the updated position. So which is limitation of this version, but I hope to do something with this in the future. So this is the 2D slider and I hope it will be useful for you. So have a good walk and uh, see you.